It is such a privilege to be with you. There's such a beautiful spirit in this church. There's such an incense in this place. There's such an aroma in this house. Indeed, the presence of the Lord is here. Indeed, God is here. And if God is here, it's a miracle zone. If God is here, then anything can happen at any moment. If God is here, then the impossible can become possible. If God is here, then the Red Sea can be parted. If, if God is here, then the blind can see. If God is here, then nothing is impossible. Tell somebody next to you, you are in the house of God where the Spirit of God lives. Say in this moment, anything is possible. Say you ought to only believe. Say your God. Look at somebody and find somebody that looks born again. And tell them your voice must be born again. Say the preacher whose voice sounds like it's going is louder than you right now. Say so use your voice. Say speak to your life. Say over your life. Say now say with me. Say your God. No your, 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 your God is not saved. Look at them say your God. Say my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can think above all you can imagine say your God say my God is well able to do exceedingly say your God say my God is able my God is able now if you believe he's able won't you clap for Jesus make a joyful noise like you really believe it's such a privilege to be with you and I met Pastor David Absolute, absolutely an amazing man and um, what a privilege it is thank you I'm saying that because this church has a heart for the next generation I'm saying that because God is on the move and God is busy moving in this nation and even if you don't see it doesn't mean he's not moving sorry I, I just need you quickly can you just go to my car I forgot my gift I want to give it's standing here outside it's, it's a red car just, just find my car sorry Sorry, just clap for him. Sorry, clap for him. Bring my keys. I'm from South Africa. I don't have a car. Come on, give him a round of applause. Can have a seat. 
He didn't need to see my car. He just needed evidence. The fact that I gave him a word. And the fact that I had evidence caused him to believe my word and the evidence. He didn't see it, but he believed the word. Just because you don't see God doesn't mean he's not here. This Bible is enough evidence that God is here and if God is here then he can make a way where there seems to be no way if God is here then he can cause rivers to flow in desert places if God is here you can be unemployed coming in but an entrepreneur going out I said if God is here the university can be closed but if you get the hold of God you can get a scholarship if God is here your life will never be the same again I said God is here and if God is here the miraculous is here if God is here the supernatural is here so speak to your soul don't be so downcast speak to your soul lift up he gates lift up he gates lift up your head speak to your soul and tell your soul God is here and he's about to bring a miracle I said God is here and he's about to deliver a miracle I feel somebody just wants to burst forth and a well must break open if that's a good place to shout and clap your hands to it now if that's your place to clap clap for Jesus and say I'm gonna get it my God he's a wonderful Savior I'm saying that I don't want you to miss God. I know the journey is long. And I know this journey is not easy. But greater is He that is in you than Him that is in the world. And so this morning, I have a word if you stop playing I stop preaching because I'm just, I'm just flowing prophetically and so this morning we'll find our reading in Genesis 1 verse 3 verse 1 to verse 3 and if you can read it with me let me pray Father Baba, thank you for your word your miraculous power is in this place your presence is here just like you did in Genesis May today be a day where you create. Father, thank you for your word. Amen. Genesis 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. Darkness was the surface of the deep. 
kule chini and the spirit of god roho wa mungu was hovering ulikuwa unatembea and the spirit of god na roho wa mungu was hovering over the waters alikuwa anatembea juu ya maji then god said na mungu akasema let there be light wacha kukawe na nuru and there was light na kukawa na nuru in the sticks in the scripture katika maandiko i want you to notice three important components nataka ukaone mambo matatu ya muhimu it says in the beginning god inasema mwanzoni kulikuwa na mungu it goes further to say inaendelea kusema and the spirit of god na roho wa mungu it then goes to say and god said na inasema kusema mungu akasema and the word of god na neno la mungu I want you to see that in the beginning there was a divine partnership between God his spirit and his word this partnership was so potent that it had the ability to bring into being while the state while the earth was in a state of darkness it had the ability to bring forth beauty in the midst of darkness I want you to notice that this divine partnership had the ability to fill that which was empty that this divine partnership had the ability to bring shape to that which had no shape I want you to notice that this divine partnership had the ability to bring life where there was no life it tells me that whenever there is a divine partnership of God the holy spirit and the word there must be life oh, it tells me when god the holy spirit and the word of god is in the mix then no matter how dark it is light must come that no matter how formless it is form must come that no matter how empty it is abundance must come amen it tells me in genesis 1 that when god is in the equation the sum total of what he is doing has the ability to blow your mind it tells me that when god is in the mix because of who he is and because he does not need permission and because he is uncontested that God can stand on nothing step, step into nothing speak into nothing and create everything so if you are in a season where it might seem empty and if you are in a season where it might seem dark 
And if you are in a season where it seems like there's no shape, do not be afraid. Just get God in the mix. When God is in the mix, he will come into a situation and the entrance of his word will bring forth light and the light of God will dismantle will dispel will disembody darkness that this light of God is so powerful that oh, there was darkness unprecedented when his word came light broke through I don't know if you are ready for the word of God to break into your night to break into your day I came to let you know that just like Genesis today can be the beginning of the best days of your life if you believe that somebody give Jesus a mighty praise our lives will forever be marked by endings and beginnings there will be the ending of chapters and the beginning of new ones this is life in other words a genesis moment can happen anytime at any moment a genesis moment a beginning can take place right here right now even if you're 50 a Genesis moment is not a respecter of age a Genesis moment is purposed by God three months ago my dad who I really who who I served for 20 years 21, released myself and my wife to plant a ministry it was the ending of a chapter and the beginning of a new chapter it was a Genesis moment Last night, uh, I met with Bishop George Gichana. And while we were sitting, he spoke a word over my life. And when he spoke that word over my life, that moment, what, what he said became a Genesis moment. A Genesis moment is a beginning of something that has not happened before. In the book of Genesis, God brought forth beauty and the beauty he brought forth was so that earth could experience 
his truest intent that he intended for the church for, for the earth a Genesis moment a Genesis moment a moment where a beginning can unfold this morning I'm standing in Bishop Kimani's church to me it's much more than preaching to me it's a Genesis moment in Lamentations 3 verse 22 he says that his mercies are new every day it tells me that every day is a new day and if it's a new day then a Genesis moment can unfold in this Genesis moment God is present the Holy Spirit is present and the word is present in these moments if we discern the moment we will know how to posture ourselves sometimes we can miss a moment because we don't discern the moment sometimes it's a new day but we are carrying the things of yesterday into today sometimes it's a new day but we are carrying the baggage of yesterday into today and just like that we miss our Genesis moments but God doesn't want you to miss a moment he wants to bring forth beauty in your life and in your neighbor's life look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor even today is a Genesis moment say even today he wants to bring forth beauty he wants to bring forth his truest intent for your life say your father in heaven has a desire to bring forth all that he has placed in you say today is a Genesis moment in these moments we have to posture ourselves the word of God says mix it with faith it says when you receive the word you must mix the word with faith the way you make ugali you gotta get down and mix it with faith in other words you gotta stir the word with faith because it's only the mixing of faith within a moment that we see the power of God break into the space of time and when the power of God breaks into a space in time we see creation 
take place if your marriage is in trouble you must find the word of God you got to mix it with faith and then watch the word create what's the use we receive all this knowledge and this revelation and we don't mix it with faith there can be no miracle if we do not mix the word with faith tell your neighbor it's time to mix it with faith say all the words that you have received in this church under the covering of deliverance church you must mix it with faith when you mix it with faith the word must produce say when you mix it with faith the word must bring it forth his word says that he watches over his word ready to perform it his word says that this word of God will not go forth and return void you gotta mix it with faith may this season this change moment be a notice to you that if you are going to see creation come into your life come into your family come into your ministry then you must take the word of God and you must mix it with faith I feel there's an anointing in this place to create some new things that if you broke I'm gonna find the word that says my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory and I'm gonna take that word and I'm going to speak that word and I'm going to mix that word and then I'm going to watch God make that word happen but I can't just sit still I must mix it with faith Hallelujah. high five come on you got to clap for her Come on. Come on. Something's happening. I said something is happening. I sense there's an anointing for creation to take place. That you came in one way. But we are about to speak the word so that you can go out another way that if you came in heavy we're going to exchange the garment of heaviness for the garment of praise we're going to mix it with faith and if we came in heavy we are about to go out dancing I don't know who this is for but come hell and come high water one thing I'm gonna do is bless the Lord all my soul one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take his word and I'm gonna mix it with faith and when I mix it with faith 
I'm going to see God move. And when I see God move, I'm going to see mountains move. And when I see God move, I'm going to see chains break. And when I see God move, I'm going to see burdens lifted. And when I see God move, I'm going to see my government changed. And when I speak God's word, I'm going to see my children healed. And when I speak God's word, I'm going to see my bank account be filled. And when I speak God's word, I'm going to see a business rise up. And when I speak God's word, depression must go. Anxiety must go. Touch three people. Touch three people. And tell them. In this Genesis moment. You must mix the word. With faith. I dare you. I double dare you. I triple dare you. Mix the word with faith. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. On the count of three. I'm going to say Somebody say yes We're going to do it three times We're going to mix the word with faith We're going to say yes to a new day We're going to say yes to a Genesis We're going to say yes to a moment We're going to say yes to a partnership with God A partnership with the Holy Spirit and a partnership with his word somebody say yes somebody say yes somebody say yes now if you need a breakout when you strike a partnership with God with the Holy Spirit and with his word and mix it with faith I'll tell you what happens there's no way your life remains the same there's no you remain unemployed somebody needs to say amen to that amen when you when you strike a partnership with God and there's a divine collaboration you mix it with faith can I tell you what I feel right now I don't know but there's there's some people here that on the count of three you just feel like giving God a praise I'm going to give you the instruction now because in the interpretation you might not hear what I say next but feel that there's somebody here that says this moment I want to seize it I'm going to let you praise God for 45 seconds and you don't have to stop until I say you must stop one 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 two two Somebody Mix it with faith Mix it 
with faith. Mix it with faith. Mix it with faith. Jesus, 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 Jesus is in the room. He's he's in the overflow. He's in the overflow. I'm going to show you something. Stay here with me. Stay with me. We are in a prophetic moment. We are about to prophesy into your life. You're going to speak life. What Pastor David didn't know that he, that he preached the end of my word at the beginning because there's an atmosphere for a genesis whenever the word was going forth there had to be a miracle my son is three the cutest little terror the cutest little terror yeah he doesn't listen to me at all I say Micaiah don't do that He's, he looks at me and he does it do you have children like that don't lie in the house of the Lord but he's my baby his name means who is like God his name was going to be Mateo but then something happened at his birth. He was fine throughout the pregnancy. Nothing was detected. When he was born, my life stood still. Because five hours after his birth, on the 26th of March 2020 the day our nation went into lockdown because of COVID the doctor came and the doctor said he looks funny I said what do you mean? she said he has down syndrome I was stunned because what do I do she then said we have to take him for tests because his rectum and his anus does might not line up they said there's a possibility that his organs might not all be there it, it was in that Genesis moment you say how can you say it was a Genesis moment because some Genesis moments are marked with chaos and whenever there's a Genesis moment there's an opportunity for God the first thing I did after she said that I said no Lord this shall not be his mother said his name will be Micaiah who is like God we left the Italian name alone but we went for a God name 
so that we could fill his name with life so that even if the diagnosis said down syndrome when we called his name Micaiah we said who is like God and so when the doctor would say down syndrome we would say Micaiah who is like God don't underestimate the power of speaking life whatever you do don't keep quiet when darkness tries to overcome you straighten up your back lift up your head loose your mouth and speak life when you speak life things change when you speak life life must come whatever you do don't keep quiet loosen your tongue and speak life the first test came back and his anus and his rectum lined up the second came back and he had all organs all because he had a mommy that called his name Micaiah all because he had a daddy that when the doctor said down syndrome we said Micaiah when we said Micaiah we called forth life you have the power to call forth life Something's about to happen. 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 The doctor came back. They weren't happy. That life was coming. So they were looking for more problems. But Pastor David the more problems they looked for the more word I found and the more problems they came up with the more word I went to go look for and when they came back again they said well he might not be normal in his head I found the word that said you have not given us a spirit of fear but you have given us the path the spirit of, of love and a sound mind I took the word I said Micaiah you have a sound mind you know how I know he has a sound mind when I say don't climb he climbs up that's how I know he has a sound mind but they came back again because the doctor was of another faith they were not of the way the doctor knew science and science is good but I know Jesus and Jesus can hop into science and can change the game I got 51 seconds left I got 51 seconds left and we are about to prophesy we are about to speak life in 38 seconds time we are about to prophesy they came back and they said he's got 
fake holes. I said the devil is a liar. I found the word that said by your stripes we are healed. Three years old. No holes in his heart. All because somebody spoke life. Now I dare you. What you're trusting God for. On the count of three. Speak life. One, two, three. Speak life. Greater is he that's in me. Speak life. Speak life. Prophesy. 